apparently in the manga, James just reveals his feelings. But yeah, I just, I don't know, I just, I always got the vibe that if James was to tell Jesse that he loved her, that she'd just tell me fuck off, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. And thumbs. And this is Pokemon. And the Nuzlocke Challenge. <laughs> I'm trying to be energetic. <laughs> but here we are. But hello, how are you doing? How are you guys? I hope you're all doing good. I hope you remember the secrets. These secrets. You know? This is my little heady hole. I'm kidding. I don't know. But this week, another kind of just a uh, week of training. It's nothing too important, nothing too exciting. I've got... Oh wow, I need to go heal Shale. Okay, okay. I just need to get Shale leveled up a wee bit more until I feel safe enough to go for that gem badge. So, that's our plan. Some more leveling up. I'm sorry it takes me so long to level up. I always say that I'm gonna train like in between recordings so that this gets done quicker. Maybe! Maybe! I'll try and do that after the next badge. Oh look a big jellyfish! There you go, fight it. Today I want to also talk to you about confirmed fan theories. And honestly the first one I read was freaking mind boggling. And I don't know if I agree. I don't know if I like it. But I'm gonna go fight this big jellyfish first. Ha! Hello, Jelly Scent! That's a stupid name. I hope a chill kills you. You're a floaty boy. Stone Edge, will that work? Use recover. You haven't even been hit yet, Jelly Scent. Yeah, you're about to get attack. As I thought, my old chum. Oh, what? Shadow Ball, you a ghost jelly? Oh. <laughs> I need to get shield. <laughs> the heck out of dodge, right? <laughs> oh, maybe no! Screw you, Jelly Sand. You nearly killed you. <laughs> and this is my first battle of the day, if this is where today's going. I swear to God, I've used so much time to level up shield. I don't want to lose it to a goddamn jellyfish. To goddamn jellyfish, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, apparently they are invading. <laughs> Pluto! You coming out? You coming out? We're gonna go Dark Pulse. Are you go, Pluto. You got this! Oh, uh, not in the bag, whoa. Whoa! Don't you dare! I gotta take some chances. <laughs> I always regret it. But I'm gonna hit you with your own medicine! Yeah, how do you like that jelly scent? Oh, you actually looked really sad, you look like you didn't like it at all. To healing! Because we need it. Those are good for the XP though, those big jellyfish. Maybe if I see more of them, I'll fight those bad boys. No! I need to go buy stuff. And send my Pokemon in. I need to go waste about 20 minutes on the jobs. I can buy 293. I'm not allowed to. I'm gonna sell some of my stuff. Have I got treasures? Yeah, I say yes, I do! Right. We have 412,000. Come back in a second when I've sold everything and we'll see how much I made! Yeah. Because I love playing this game. <laughs> I love playing the how much did I make in Pokemon. Jeez Louise! I made 300 grand! What? That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> like, I was just selling things that genuinely wasn't even looking. Like, wow. <laughs> That's madness. So I just made a lot of money. <laughs> what can we go buy? 
Now check on the Pokemon is working away. Hey guys! I know you weren't fit for the job, but I hope you've got lots of it for you. They've done exception. Oh, they got 20,000. Oh, 21,000 XP troops. 21,000. I'm not going to send Pokemon suitable for the job. Ah, ah, ah. They're getting 21,000 each. That's it, man. Troops. This is it. <laughs> They didn't do exceptional. They got 10,000, but that's still just as good. No, you send Pokemon so for the job. I wish this tune would get faster and higher pitched as it kept going. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. And then by the end you're like, da -da 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 you know? <laughs> so they were actually, right, okay, so they got more XP because they were so both for the job. <laughs> Growlithe, you rap. Sizzlepeed, you rap. To escort you, you will get Circuit, Short Circuit, Bonsai, and a Shellob, Funzo, Enigma, and Muna that I need to rename. Hey, everybody, sees Leo, sees Leo. Demi Proud. Right. Right, I gotta go make sure I've fought everyone in this section <clears throat> whilst talking about my fan theories, not my fan theories, but just, you know, fan theories of Pokemon. And it's confirmed fan theories, so they've said that these are- Ah, look at that bit more, he was freaking out. Are they doing like a circus show? He does some spins and then the man tea thing just jumps over them. <laughs> but we're gonna yeah we're gonna talk about confirmed fan theories. The first one I kind of don't want to say it as the first one, but it's the one I feel like I'm gonna rant about the most. I haven't even read the other ones. You're glowing. And it's another. Oh, it's, just, it's. I mean I kind of am angry about it. I mean I don't want them. Oh, I'll, you'll understand. In a second, once that stone edge this whale out of hell, into hell. <laughs> what does amnesia mean? He just forgets everything? Yes! I didn't think that would have worked. Nice! Congratulations, Shield. Proud of you. Ah, the XP was garbage. So we've got a uh, Pokemon in like all of these areas now, except for. The Dusty Bowl, that's what it's called, and obviously, uh, yeah. So we can fight other strong Pokemon in this bit. I always liked using these, and I think I've been calling these by the wrong names. I always like these, they always get good XP, man. Unpheasant. No, see, I knew that was their name. But, my first fan theory, I'm just gonna go with it. And then Jesse and James. Jesse and James, remember who they are. To denounce the evils of truth and love. To extend our reach to the stars above. Jesse. James. Team Rocket, blast up at the speed of light. Surrender now or prepare to fight. Yeah, that's right. They're a couple. And honestly, the reason I'm angry about that is because my whole life, even when I was young, I honestly was hoping and thought, well, thought and hoped. <laughs> See, good XP. That, that they were just each other's cover ups for being gay. And genuinely, I always, it's just what I always thought that they were both gay, that they were using each other as a cover up. That's what. It's just how it always seemed. James was always so flamboyant and the dressed up as different genders. All this. I mean, I know that doesn't make you gay just because you dress up as a. just because you're wearing the opposite gender's clothing, clothing, obviously. I don't know, man. Apparently. 
I was, thought my shield was going to end for a second, I don't know why. Um, in the manga, the electric tail of Pokemon, that is where it's confirmed. So, and it says in the anime that there's very few fin uh, hints here or there. Yeah, nice. Just fight after fight. I'm alright with that. <laughs> but yeah, it says there's very few hints. But as I've said, I always thought they were just each other's cover-ups. And apparently in the manga, James just reveals his feelings. But yeah, I just, I don't know. I just I always got the vibe that if James was to tell Jessie that he loved her, that she'd just tell me fuck off. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> and it says that they get married later on the jesse and james get married and it appears they have the baby on the way nice i'm <laughs> glad she won i was too busy ranting about jesse and james apparently having a baby i'm gonna have three levels up soon nice honestly i just kind of get at it like Maybe I'd secretly hoped that they were gay. I don't know. Representation and all that. <laughs> is anyone else here as disappointed as I am? Not once have I ever watched Pokemon and thought, I want them to be a couple. Because I don't. They're just... I always, at best, I always just kind of thought they had a best friend relationship. Like, not every woman and man has to be re in a relationship. You can be friends with the opposite gender without getting married and having wings. Remember that, Pokemon! <laughs> Fuming. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna get off that subject because I just wanted to put that out there that has been confirmed and now my life is ruined. So, thanks. Pokemon. Can't remember who made keyboards. <laughs> I should really be focusing on the fighting. Ah, confused. Ah, come on, Shale. Come on, Shale. Did you kill that pigeon? This is actually, it's a joke, like, um, in Dragon Age, the character that I named Shale after is a big rock golem, and, like, I'm, no, I'm sure, well, they're all someone turned into a golem, but, uh, they get left in, like, this village, and, uh, nice! Levels up, nice. Ships. But, yeah, uh, in Dragon Age, the Shale character hates pigeons, so... Because they were always landing on her. Because you, you needed a rod to activate her. Or to like free her from stasis basically. <laughs> and yeah. So she hated pigeons because they were always landing on her. And probably pooping on her. So I hate pigeons too. So it's quite funny that they're actually fighting. I know it's a pheasant. Not a pigeon. But it's a bug. It's kind of funny. But, second fan theory confirmed. Oh, so this isn't confirmed by the company? This is just people being like, oh, they've appeared together more than a few times, so. But it's basically the confirmation that Cubone and Kangaskhan are related. That Cubone is just little baby Kangaskhan whose mum has died. And wore the skull of its mother. So there you go. You did use protect your stupid bird. I wouldn't mind killing the birds. Those evil birds and their foul droppings. So there we have it. Confirmed. King is Khan is Cubon's mother. You heard it here first, Trips. Nowhere else on the planet will you hear this information but here. Never before held information. You're welcome. <laughs> But yeah, it was basically just uh, that they apparently consistently appear in the wild together. But I mean, I suppose I've been playing this for a while. Nice show! But yeah, it's been a while. As I was saying to someone that commented on my video, 
It's been a while since I played like the older games, so I don't actually r remember the last time I saw a King skin. But yeah, so apparently they consistently appear in the wild together, and apparently in the opening credits of the latest Pokemon movie. But apparently Cubone and Kings can appear together. And it says that in certain games... Did I pick that? No. Uh, Cubone can call for help? And apparently none other than Kangas can appears. I didn't... What do you mean I can call for help? I ring me. Hi. He's not doing anything. They're like, what do you want? We are the sun, get out of our lives. <laughs> it says the things are seeming far more than a coincidence at this point. Just because they appear together. I don't know what they're talking about with Cubone being able to call for help. What, is, what do you mean? When? Where? Since when can you call for help? I'm Pheasant, I need to take out some anger on you. Let's go, ship! And the third confirmed. Uh, again, it's not even really confirmed. It's just people are saying, yep. It's true. Fans really do just make their own lives, don't they? They're just like, you know what? I'm gonna get this ball rolling and go with it. <laughs> And they fucking go here. Yeah. But basically, yeah, the third confirmed theory is the Mew and Ditto connection. That Ditto is a failed clone of Mew. It says the Mewtwo in Pokemon is stated that Mewtwo is the only successful clone of the original Mew. So then that would apply that those failed attempts. Again, I've uh, compared it to that alien film where there's like different clo failed clones around the room. And it's just like mad mangled mews all around the place. <laughs> so that's what I'd picture it to be like. And then there's the compatible moves that Ditto and Mew share. Apparently they have the same base stats. I didn't know that. Apparently, I didn't know this either. That nice, Plo, congratulations. Apparently Mew. Oh, nice. Apparently Mew's DNA contains information from all Pokemon, which I don't didn't know that. Unless I did know that and I just forgot. <laughs> but I, I don't remember knowing that. And, uh... You know what Ditto can do, right? Ditto can mate with every single Pokemon out there, so... It's basically confirmed at this point, and it cased closed, as this article has said. So, yeah. There's also a fan theory here, that this <laughs> confirmed fan theory. Crazy confirmed fan theories. I need to go heal Shale to get... Oh my attack unit. But this is genuinely here that one of them is that Misty loves Ash. No, I mean if you've ever actually watched the show or any of the movies that they're both in together, you will know that that's not a secret. I mean, I think it's the second movie, maybe Pokemon 2000 I think it's called and it's the one with Lugia like the old movies and uh, there's like like they go to this island for celebrations and stuff to go solve Master Ace because they were the modern Scooby-Doo <laughs> the Pokemon <laughs> and then uh, like there's this woman that they will get all the old children at this point there's this girl that is... I don't know if she saves Ash li Ash's life or like... She basically... and then she basically welcomes him to like the island. And boy does Misty get jealous of her! Honestly! 
she does not like this like, this woman. But, and then at one point, she, like this other woman girl suggests that Misty and Ash were an item, I'm sure. And then Misty's like, oh no, I would never go near him. And then like there's a scene where they two, where like the girl and Ash are getting on and Misty's just like looking at her with pure daggers in her eyes. So it's kind of clear, it's kind of obvious from the get-go that Misty was in love with Ash. Here's your traditional welcome kiss. <laughs> <laughs> then I guess you must be his girlfriend. <laughs> Gross! Oh, I don't think so. That's ridiculous. Meet Ash's girlfriend. <laughs> it's totally ridiculous. Apparently, people, like... <laughs> Like, after, well, I'm assuming this is like the first couple of games. Because otherwise, I feel like it doesn't make a lot of sense because there's lots of professors in the games. But then maybe it's true for all professors? I don't know. But basically, like, after battling all the gym leaders, crushing the Elite Four, and then defeating your rival in the games, apparently you get a diploma after that. <laughs> But then, as said, apparently players have wondered if there was male to it and if maybe there was a final challenge after all that fighting. And it's deep in the game's data, apparently, that Professor Oak has a full team of Pokemon at his disposal. And apparently they're the most powerful of any trainer in the game so people are saying that he was apparently or should have been your last final challenge your true final challenge as this article says and to be he, he was to be the most powerful I mean to be honest it would make sense like he sends you off on this journey why wouldn't it circle back to him you know like he was your first hurdle then he's your last hurdle kind of thing you know Apparently you can actually activate a cheat that lets you battle them. That's cool. I never knew that. I'd like to fight Professor Oak, finally put him in his place. <laughs> nice. I don't even need to move. I just stand here and talk garbage and let the unpheasants come into me. <laughs> right, okay troops. I might make this my last confirmed fan theory. Again, this isn't even confirmed. <laughs> but it is, it is a crazy one. It is to do with Ash's parents, Ash's mom, and potentially his dad. You need to kick the crap out of the sun pheasant first. Thank you, thank you. Oh, he's dreadnoughts. Right, so it's about Ash's mom. And her name is Delia. I never knew that. Delia Ketchum. Genuinely did not know that. And I've played Pokemon for a good few while now. And watched it. <laughs> but yeah, Delia Ketchum. Ashy's Madre. No, apparently, like, apparently it's been a thing for years. Like, people try to find out who Ashy's dies. Because it's just, like, number one mystery for Pokemon fans. Because <laughs> we don't let things lie. Like fans of things, you just don't. You need to know. According to official materials, apparently, that Delia says that Ash, Ashy's father, married her, and then quickly left in order to become a Pokemon trainer, which in itself. Seems a bit strange, because, I mean, they're in Pokemon world, so why would he have to leave to go... Ah, oh, nice! One of those little guys. One of these. I love those little guys, they're so cute! But I'm just kind of going to look for treasure the now, because I really want to get this to you at the road. Because it's a bit of a doozy! But yeah, um... That's where Pokemon lives, so why would he have to leave to go be a trainer. Doesn't make sense. But apparently there's this thing called Pokemon Live. I didn't even know this was a thing. But apparently it's a stage show. 
when Pokemania was at its highest peak. I don't know. I don't know what Pokemon Live is, but apparently it's a stage show that is basically puppetry, music, and a well done perf like the part and this quote on this website says a legitimately well done performances and it's all live of course and it says it's fantastic so I'm gonna need to look up to see if there's videos of that stuff because that's <laughs> genuinely sounds intriguing one of these days I'm gonna catch you but the the 3D is coming behind that says that Giovanni right so in this Pokemon Live thing it apparently held shocking revelations according to this website about Ash's parents and it went into aspects of Delia's life it's crazy that <laughs> um, cartoon, not a puppet show has been in any detail about Ashi's Maz life. But I mean if it wasn't for that we wouldn't have this theory. It goes into detail about Ashi's Maz life and apparently there's a weird twist that reveals I kind of want a drum roll for this the Giovanni yeah that's right the Giovanni, the boss of Team Rocket was romantically involved with Ash's mum, Delia. Let's see. But not only that, that apparently Ash's maw, we innocent Ash's maw, was apparently part of the budding, the start of Team Rocket, basically. Like, that is, that is, I can't go over that. If that is true, if that is true, Ashy's ma was at the start of Team Rocket. Maybe that's why they're always trying to go after Pikachu. He's a terrible father figure. <laughs> but yeah, apparently she was there for the fucking start of that. How crazy is that? She claims that she left Giovanni after meeting Ashy's da. Again, that kind of seems a bit weird, so... Whoopsies. I just fight it and then run. Okay. That's nice. Oh, nice. 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 I don't know, it just seems crazy that. Ashy's dash, Giovanni. I mean, it, it does kind of seem like she'd cover on something up, then it? So, I don't know what else would she be covering up other than the fact that Alda is a crime lord. Big cover up, Pokemon. <laughs> Big cover up. I'm into it though. I'm telling you, honestly, I love a fan theory. I've came up with a couple of my own, not with Pokemon, but just in general. So, it's just fun to just play a bit of games and just. Be like, oh, what if this is true? What if that's true? And it may not, it may get, it may come out one day that this was a lot of garbage. But that doesn't matter. <clears throat> it's not going to make it any less fun to come up with. Theories are always good to have. It keeps the mind working. It keeps the mind cogs at clicking. I don't know, cogs don't really click, do they? I don't know, and I don't really care. Because, true <laughs> rip. <laughs> I'm leaving it here. Whatever you are on this planet, I hope you are enjoying fan theories. I hope you're coming up with your own fan theories. But, <laughs> up until then, whatever you are, I hope you're having a good one. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're being clean. I hope you're being smart, not being an idiot. You know, just be in general, just I hope you're not being stupid. <laughs> but, and until next time, thumbs! And a little blue haired poop, blue haired Pokemon master. <laughs> We're out of here.